Yeah, okay. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited because I'm with Gracie. And so say hello. Hi. Oh my god, you said that so like deep and it was really quiet. So basically, um, I'm going to be talking, uh, I'm talking, um, obviously. I'm going to be telling you guys a uh, story time. Uh, and so me and Gracie, we are really into scary stuff. But this it's is like... Ballin'. Yeah, Mr. Ballin, such such a good such a good story timer or whatever. Yeah, he tells like stories about like haunted stuff and you know paranormal activities. A lot of murder. But um, and most of his videos are real. Well, all of them are real, sorry. <laughs> but this one, this one, this story time is real, even though it's coming for, from not really a professional um, story time teller. -er. Um, so basically, I was chilling last night, you know, and this literally just happened to me. So I want to see what happens tonight, and maybe if anything bad happens tonight, then I'll, I'll catch you guys up on it. But... Um, um, I've already heard the story, but I'm just going to act like I've never heard it for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gracie, she's heard this, but, you know, she has to pull her acting skills to this test. So basically, last night, I was just hanging out, um, and then my friend called me. And we were, and he was like, you want to play Roblox? I was like, yeah, I sure. Girls do. Just yeah. Play Roblox. <laughs> play Roblox. Eat food. Chipotle. Uh, uh, so, I'm sorry. I might, like, stutter because I'm trying to play the game as well. But, basically, I was, we were playing Roblox. We were having fun. I didn't lock the doors because I'm out in the she shed. And my backyard's all fenced in. It's all fenced in. There's, like, no way someone could get in. But it was, like, eight. Eight some it was like eight forty. Um and well it was eight forty and then my 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 mom oh no not my mom I went to go get water uh because I was really thirsty so I left my door cracked because that's what I normally do um when I leave so I left it cracked um and uh when I uh I got into the my home <laughs> I got my water, and I brushed my teeth, and I said goodnight to my parents. So, after I said goodnight, I went back to the she shed, and at this point, it's about, like, 9.40-ish. Yeah, and so it was, like, this really, um, annoying, uh, rushing activity that takes a long time, because you just got Yeah, <laughs> um, but, so, basically, um... Where was I just at? I just lost my plane. So, was, yeah, it was like 9.40ish, and I checked my windows, um, and it looked like my parents were headed into their bedroom to go to sleep. So I was like, okay, that's normal, but it's really late for them to go to bed, because normally they're like, ah, sleep. Bye, there. You know, Yeah. My, my mom and my dad usually sleep at, like, 9 o'clock, but they went to bed at, like, 9.40 to go to, into their bedroom um, because, you know, they wanted to watch their movie in there or whatever. That doesn't matter. <laughs> so, it was really dark outside last night um, because our street lights are broken. They're completely broken. Um, it was really weird Yeah, it was really weird last night. It looked like the sun was up at like 11 o'clock. Yeah. It was pretty weird. Okay, so don't land on the green. Um, so, uh, now I still have not locked my door because I'm playing Roblox and I'm really distracted and the time is flying by. I understand that because you're, when you're playing Roblox, you're kind of in like a trance and you're too lazy. Yeah, exactly. 
So I was playing Roblox and I did not lock my door because I'm stupid. Um, and, uh, it's about 10.04 now, and I just hear this loud, really loud bang at my door. So I, I hold my door down, and I lock it. It looked like there was, like, it felt like something was, like, pushing against it, but at the same time, it didn't. It was kind of weird. But, after that, I was kind of sketched out, so I looked outside the window, um, and I was, like, really, really nervous. You're so ahead of me, sorry. I was really nervous, because, like, I didn't know what could get in, except for, like, a bunny or something. But no, it was not a bunny, that's for sure. Like, it was really, it was scary, and it just gave me, like, oh my god. My heart was pumping. It was really, it, it was nerve -wracking. Yeah, I wasn't, I was, like, I didn't want to see what it was, because, like, what if there was, like, a man outside my door? I would not want to open the door. So, I locked both, both the latches so that no one could get in, and I started to, uh, slowly move up the little thing, and no one was there. So, I was really weirded out, but, um, then my friend had to go, and I kind of just stayed in bed. I... Uh, I shut off my LED lights, and I just watched movies, and that was kind of like a chill night, and it wasn't that bad after that, but then, in the morning, I woke up, and I was texting my mom, and I was like, hey, good morning, because I was not gonna go all the way into the house, like, who does that? In the morning. <laughs> like, I just wanted to text my mom, hey, um, so... I was texting her back and forth, and I'll tell you guys what the conversation was. I was like, I told her, I was like, um, good morning. She was like, hey, how did you sleep? I was like, good. And she was like, your friend's waiting for you outside the door. It is my dog. But all the, the doggy door, I can promise you, the doggy door is always closed at night, and no one could get in. Um, that is so, incredible. so it was not my dog, but my dog always waits for me in the morning, and I was like, I have something to tell you that happened last night, she was like, okay, come talk, so I had to go into the house, which, ugh. um, so I went into the house, and I was talking to her, and I was like, hey mom, I heard this loud bang at my door, and I did not lock the door, and then I did, and she was like, that's weird, because I heard a loud bang at the glass door last night and I thought it was you it was not me I, I was not gonna get I was not gonna go outside when it's pitch black the street lights do not work and I'm scared for my life <laughs> like what this is why I keep the pocket fingers yeah well Gracie I'm not I'm not a professional so um, I was telling her what happened, she was like, I heard a loud bang at the glass door last night, which was kind of weird, and I thought it was you wanting to get in, so I got out of bed, and I went to go open the door. The dogs were not barking, the dogs were sleeping, and, except for Bea, Bea always barks, and she was not barking, she just, she was just perched right up, she was chilling, and ha all the other dogs were sleeping. So this is... So, this is kind of weird, but that's literally what happened, and uh, she told me no one was there either, and it looked like you had not left the she shed, and I was like, I didn't. I didn't. So, that's what happened last night, so tonight I want to try to experiment and see what happens, because I was playing Roblox, and the door was not locked, and I know it couldn't have been my brother's, because my brother Reese had to go to sleep because he has soccer stuff, um, and my brother Brody, his curfew is midnight, and it was 10.04. So that's... Uh, where, where, have, where, where yeah, hopefully, so, yeah, we might hang out tonight, but, um, we're hoping that, like, something weird happens, but if something doesn't, that's fine, but if something does, we'll definitely have 
to tell you. Yeah, I'm finally going to floor five. I have an. Um, can I tell a story? Sure. Hold on. Let me. Let me get my volume up. And let me turn off my air conditioning. Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, wait, really quick. Also, my air conditioning. It's off the wall, so, and it doesn't have rolling things on it, couldn't hit the wall, and so, I don't know, and there's no trees around the she shed. It was not windy last night, no, but Gracie, that, go ahead. That sounds traumatizing, I mean, I, I have never had an experience like that, but I, I've had to actual cool story happened happened the other day i'm glad it happened um at the same time but at the same time i'm not because i'm glad because now i have a story to tell yes. besides the tokyo story <laughs> Takiko. maybe i'll sh uh, share that with you guys next video maybe but, so, well okay. so here wait hold on wait 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 it's not spooky saturday or spooky sunday but we're still doing spooky stories. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Gracie, I'm sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so basically, I was with my neighbor, and we started doing this thing where we, like, go on bike rides every night. And this time, we, did, we I have a dirt road, because I, li I have a big property. Um, and so we decided to go on the dirt road. And, of course, that's where most of the cars come. So, me and my friend decide to head to my other neighbors, which is then off. We just were going to drive down their road and drive back up. And suddenly, there are two cars. One of them just casually waves, and it's a woman in a white car. And the other one um, is a man in a truck, and he starts to turn. And um, as he's getting closer, he starts slowing down and ro rolling down his window. And he looks at us, smiles, and says, Hi, girls. Rolls it up, drives off. Me and my friend have this weird feeling in our stomachs. So we decide not to go down that road. We, we're so freaked out by this, we take the back way where no one can see us. So we're basically behind a lot of bushes. We finally reach my house. And we tell my mom, and I look back, and I see that truck. And it's going slower than the speed limit, so there's a possibility that he was looking for us. But, yeah. Wow. We have more time. Do you want to tell your your, your other story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's funny, and hopefully this will help you, because I like watching funny stuff after scary stories. That, that's true. I, I'm one of those weirdos who... If there's nothing on Netflix and I just watch a scary story, I have to watch something happy, like like that fairy movie, <laughs> Tinkerbell, or 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 Barbie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't do that, but I do watch the fairy movie if I get scared. <laughs> I'll watch something like that, or I'll just cover my face with a pillow. Okay, so I was with my neighbor once again. Because we're like family friends. And then I was with Hannah, too. We were all in Colorado. And we were all playing Royal High. And suddenly, um, my neighbor, um, her name is Catherine. So, her mom says, Catherine, um, come get your dinner. So, she get, she goes outside and comes back with three taquitos. And she's nice enough to share she gives one to me, she gives one to Hannah, and of course, she had, she gives one to herself. And me and Hannah eat ours within like five seconds. And she just takes one bite of hers. And then she has to go to the bathroom. And right before she enters, she says, Hannah, do not eat my taquito. And what do you know it, she comes back, the taquito's in Hannah's mouth. And she has a big meltdown, like <laughs> massive. That, um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sound really stupid, but but 
<laughs> and everybody keto. That was. She was hungry. KK, she was hungry, girl. You should have bought me. Um, you should have brought me more. Like, I'm not playing Roblox with you guys anymore. And we're like, okay, bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, those are my two interesting stories. Wow, I wish I had more, but Mr. Ballin, go watch his videos. He's so good. He literally tells the best, best stories, especially like if you're with your, your friends, he's the one you want to watch because it's scary stories, it's funny stories, it's traumatizing stories, but don't worry. And always, always trust your gut because most likely that's... Trust what? your gut and lock your door. Yeah. And then, and then, wait, okay, I just want to say this right now. I heard someone, I, okay. I literally heard someone right before I was going to tell the story, uh, uh, before I shut off my, um, thing, uh, after I shut off my, uh, air conditioning thing, uh, I heard a, like, uh, like someone was banging the floor, like, like someone was walking on my porch. But no one's there, and neither are my dogs. They're all inside. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of weird. Okay. My, mom, my mother's calling me right now. So, let's just the video. Yes. Bye, guys. Thank you Bye. so much. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. If you want to. If you want to. Only if you want to. But that's good advice. <laughs> Bye, guys.